Hi. YouTube family. Welcome back to Recording Movies Recap. Today I am going to explain an Indonesian comedy drama film called Too Handsome to Handle. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The Moss family has been good looking for several generations. They are admired by many because of their beauty, which in turn makes them a lot of money. The eldest son, Okis, is an internet influencer. He has millions of followers because of his looks and is also considered a love guru who helps men impress their crushes. The father, Pocker used to be a heartbreaker who dated more than 1200 girls before meeting their mother. Meanwhile, the mother can also be considered handsome because of her masculine features and an obvious mustache. Lastly, the protagonist, Hulin, is the youngest son and the most attractive of them all. The family has gotten used to their life as people with good looks. Except for Kulin, who struggles to live normally because of his handsomeness. He often wishes he was only mildly attractive, that way, he could go out without being chased by a crowd of women every time. Girls go crazy, pass, out, pull their hair, and often get nosebleeds on getting a look at his attractive face. As a result, he has never had genuine interaction with a girl. He avoids going out in public as much as possible and has been homeschooled till now. Hulin has no friends he can talk to other than his pet fish. He often plays cards with it and talks to it out loud. His family watches him through a camera in worry. They want him to have a normal teenage life and try their best to help him. Okis frequently shows him pictures of girls trying to hook him up with someone. However, Hulin says that his typing girls is someone who doesn't like him. He wants to be seen for his personality and interest, not his face. When nothing works to motivate Kulin to go out, the family takes it a step further. They plan to fake financial problems and guilt him into going to a school. One night when Kulin wakes up to drink water, his parents pretend to be worried about their finances. They dramatically declare that they will only eat scrambled eggs for breakfast until they earn enough money for Kulin's homeschooling. He feels awful to be causing his parents so much trouble. The next morning, he declares that he will be going to school for the upcoming semester. The family is overjoyed until he mentions that he will only go to an all-boys school. Although they would have preferred him to be able to talk to girls, they are happy to take one step at a time. A few days later is Kulin's first day at an actual school. Okis drops him off on his bike, but Kulin doesn't take his helmet off. He plans to wear it the entire day to hide the fact he is handsome. However, the plan backfires when the helmet grabs more attention than he intended to. Kulin quietly sits down in the last seat but is called out by the class bully Sidi and his minions. When the teacher enters the classroom, she too is surprised to see a guy with a helmet. She urges him to take it off, right that instant. Although reluctant, Kulin has no way but to oblige. He slowly takes the helmet off in a dramatic way, revealing his face. In the following scene, the teacher is being loaded into an ambulance. It turns out that she started to nosebleed and hyperventilate because of Kulin's beauty. The other kids complain to the principal that the new student is too handsome to handle. Kulin runs through the hallway to go back home but is tripped by one of the bullies. They bring him to the school's storeroom and introduce themselves like they are Power Rangers. They are called the Teague Attack, a group of three bullies led by Sidi, the principal's son. After the over-the-top introduction, they reveal that they need Kulin's help to ask a girl out for prom. The group has been in the senior year of school for the past three years. They refuse to graduate until Sidi goes to the prom with the most beautiful girl of the BBM school, Amanda. However, she only accepts requests from handsome men so the group wants Kulin to deliver the proposal. They assign an innocent guy, Kibo, to help Kulin and lead the way. Kibo has also been a victim of their pranks in the past and is obliged to do what the bullies say. Afterward, Kulin goes to the principal's office with Kibo to make an official complaint about bullying in school. 
Kibo knows what the outcome will be, but he still accompanies Kyulin. The principal is troubled by his son refusing to graduate. Since Kyulin's beauty gives him a chance to take Amanda to the prom, the principal wants them to do whatever the bullies say. That evening, Kyulin and Kibo decide to complete the task the next day and get rid of the responsibility. Kibo is the first person who has shown kindness to Kyulin, unrelated to his beauty. Although the day didn't go as planned, he is happy to have gained a friend. The next morning, they go to the BBM school, where the girls smell the presence of the boys. They are strict about not allowing ugly boys to enter the school premises. Hence, when they notice Kulin wearing a helmet, the entire school asks him to take it off. In a climactic scene, Kulin takes the helmet off and mayhem ensues among the girls. Only a few hours later, the news makes it to the television. Clips of girls crying, bleeding through their noses, getting possessed, and jumping around are being shared all around social media. Kulin starts being known as the too handsome to handle guy. When Kulin and Kibo arrive, Amanda welcomes them. Strangely enough, she seems to be more interested in Kibo than in Kulin. She even pulls him aside to talk to him in private. At the same time, Rear arrives at the party and sees Amanda kissing Kibo. Heartbroken, she runs outside. Taking advantage of her vulnerability, Kulin confesses his feelings for her. Rear thanks him but claims that she never saw him as someone more than a friend. Even after conspiring against his only best friend, Kulin gets nothing in return. The group of bullies also see Amanda kissing Kibo and are enraged with jealousy and anger. They beat Kibo up for it while Kulin watches from nearby, too scared to interfere. Later, he brings Kibo home and dresses his wounds alongside his grandmother. Only after seeing him moan in pain, does Kulin realize that he has made a huge mistake. The next day, Kibo gives him a legendary card from his card collection that Kulin had been wanting for a long time. Guild-ridden, Kulin confesses to everything wrong he has done till now. Kibo is shocked and hurt by the betrayal. He claims that he would have left Rear if he knew Kulin liked her too. The words do nothing but hurt Kulin even more. At last, Kibo orders him to get out of the house immediately. Knowing that he is in the wrong, Kulin simply leaves. He finally returns home after a month. His family is overjoyed, but the same cannot be said for Kulin. He locks himself in his room and doesn't talk to anyone. But most of all, he misses his best friend. The two bump into each other at times, but never share anything more than a glance. At home, Kulin's mother is worried about his well-being. She approaches him one night and gives him his pet fish that never died. She also tells him that he can go back to being homeschooled, if that is what he prefers. The family only wants his happiness and is ready to do anything for it. Kulin, touched by her words, realizes that he has people in his life who are rooting for his success. This motivates him to make things right between him and Kibo. The next morning, he runs to Rear and tells her everything. Following that, he goes to Kibo and tries to apologize. Although Kibo dismisses him at first, when asked about Rear, he starts to describe how much he loves her. Kulin shows him that Rear was listening to him on the phone the entire time. That way, he mends their relationship and goes back to being both their friend. A few days later, they all go to prom together. Kibo's date is Rear, while Kulin's date is Amanda. As expected, Kulin and Amanda win the title of prom king and queen. Kulin hears a girl comment that he is only mildly handsome and is instantly drawn to her, indicating the start of a new relationship. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.